What's up guys? Welcome back to another Lego Fortnite video. Today I have some insane tips, tricks, as well as some incredible secrets that if you guys are a beginner player or even an advanced player, I am guaranteeing you guys are going to learn something from this video. Some of the tips I'm going to mention in this video, I haven't seen on the internet yet. So this is the first time that actually you will probably hear about this i'm also gonna be hooking up some of you guys with the battle pass for this season or if you guys already have the battle pass you guys will need some v bucks whatever works for you guys i'm gonna be hooking some of you guys up all you have to do of course is make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the like button and comment below your epic username to be entered into that if you guys don't need v bucks you guys don't want v bucks that's totally fine but let's get right into the video an awesome secret that not a lot of people know is that if you guys go into a desert or a mesa biome you guys can actually find the sand brutes and these things will actually cause a lot of damage and if you guys are close enough to it it will actually smash and destroy cactuses so you guys can get flex wood very easily without having to go ahead and getting a rare axe so it's quite easy to get it will take a little bit of time to find one of these things but once you guys do trust me you guys are going to be getting flex wood very easily especially early on in the game if you guys don't have a lot of materials if you guys did not know there is gigantic rainbows that are around the world go ahead and find these rainbows that are in the sky and go right underneath them there's gigantic clouds and this one's a little bit convenient because i can go ahead and i can jump on these rocks and finally get on top of the mountain but if the rainbow or the cloud is in the middle of the sky and you can't get it you can always build to the rainbow so then when you build up to the cloud you can go ahead and just jump on the cloud and then you can see there's a bunch of guys just do a little like rainbow dance if you would say and all you have to do is uh you can just dance with them do some emote and then they'll give you a bunch of loot and some of the stuff i mean it's pretty good easy on or like like pretty quick in the game if you guys are just starting out but if you guys are pretty far in the game it won't give you too much op loot but still it's still worth going ahead and checking these guys out so if you guys don't have a rare axe or the blue axe in order for you guys to get flex wood i have a whole video on flex wood but if you guys don't have a blue axe and you guys want to get flex wood you can also go ahead and find boulders and grab these boulders and then push them straight into the cactuses and you can see it actually will cause damage uh so you might have to go ahead and wheel it back just a little bit oh no hopefully it doesn't fall off the edge i'm gonna quick try stopping it there we go oops nope 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 i guess we're gonna break these we broke those yes we broke some okay cool so you can see we actually broke cactus and the flex would actually drop too so once again you guys don't need a blue or a rare axe in order to get flex wood all you guys need is a boulder here and i mean it will take a little bit of time because obviously it will be better if you guys try to roll it on smaller cactuses like these but if you guys try to get the bigger ones you're gonna have to go ahead and try to roll it multiple times to hit it down but you can see we clearly went ahead and we busted some cactus with a boulder so that was pretty awesome you can also find these massive trees like these and if you guys go ahead and you guys chop them down it doesn't matter what axe obviously you guys are using go ahead chop down the trees and they'll actually fall and they'll break and you can go ahead and push them and they'll even cause more damage to not only other trees other branches but other items uh, as well too so i highly recommend you guys go ahead bust down these big trees and then roll them into wherever you guys want to go if you guys are in the random wild then you guys notice there's like a little village here and there's some crates you can actually pick up crates and you can run to wherever you guys want to and you guys can actually utilize this as a tool especially if you guys don't have a blue force axe to knock down some cactus you can go ahead and pick these crates up and you can utilize them uh like a normal weapon so i'm gonna like pick it up it will take a little bit of time it's not easy by any means it's kind of a grind actually but you can see it actually causes damage to the cactus so you can keep using these things and once again i recommend you uh i mean you have to hit like the smaller cactuses because the bigger ones will take um they, they take a lot more damage than the other ones uh but you guys gotta keep picking it up 
throwing it at the cactus and eventually you'll get to the point where it will, it will break but it will take a long time personally i would probably avoid this method but it's still possible to do it takes like two damage off from these cactuses but it's definitely a grind if you guys ever get the notification that you guys are too cold it's because you guys need to consume some sort of warm material or have some warm food in you so if you guys are in the dry valley biome or like the desert the mesa biome whatever you guys want to call it make sure you guys collect spicy peppers because these things will be very very useful especially if you guys go to cold biomes and it shows that you guys are cold don't forget too if you guys ever need to go to a mountain or anything that's very high up you can always build straight to the top or build wherever you guys need to go so it makes your life a lot easier instead of trying to go ahead and climb and get there you can always build your way up to the top so if you guys don't know by now you can actually have these followers that are going to help you guys out in the world so i'm going to go ahead and talk to my villager here and i'm going to assign my villager to explore so i'm going to say let's explore and my villager is going to follow me around now and wherever i go the villager is going to go and basically replicate or copy what i do and this is really important whether if you guys are going out and chopping down trees collecting granite uh fighting other hostile mobs in the caves getting any other resources you guys can actually utilize these uh these villagers for your use however though a lot of people don't realize but you can actually give these villagers useful tools so i'm gonna go ahead and once again once my villager is following me and i am exploring my villager i can go ahead and talk to my villager once again and i can go ahead and click on take this and i can give my villager any of the tools that i have in my inventory so say for chopping down trees i can go ahead and give this villager a axe or let's say if we're fighting hostile mobs we can go ahead and give this villager a long sword so now i gave my villager a long sword and the villager has a sword but let's say for example you guys are fighting mobs you're also cutting trees you guys are mining uh you guys are doing a lot of different things you can actually give this villager not only one tool but multiple tools you can continue to say take this and now we'll give this villager a forest axe. So now my villager has an axe, it has a sword. So if we're starting to go ahead and start hitting down trees, the villager will go ahead and chop down the tree for us. If we go ahead and we try to find a fight. So now I'm gonna fight this little wolf that's around here. I'm gonna like punch him. And then my villager is gonna switch the sword and the villager is gonna be using the sword now to kill that. Here, here's more spiders too. It knows to go ahead and switch to the best tool possible to get the job done. So you can always upgrade your villagers that are exploring with you simply by just giving them either better tools or any tool that would fit its needs. If you guys don't know how to locate caves as well too, the caves look like this. They look like this in all the different biomes. They look very similar, but just obviously texture to whatever biome you guys are in. This is the grasslands one. But in order to find these caves, you can also go on your map here and you can see there is these little cave icons and those cave icons are actually the locations of the caves. And you can see there's one in the like desert biome or the, uh, I think it's like the valley biome. And then there's a bunch of them over here. And if you go through these caves, you can obviously go ahead and you can teleport to other ends of the caves or connected in some way so something to know this is a useful tip especially if you guys like to mine in caves this is something that i believe every player needs to know so clearly pretty basic but if you go in your inventory you can obviously go ahead and move your torch into your offhand and you can see then if i go on my sword you can see i have my sword and i have my torch however though a lot of you guys get lost in caves you guys don't know where you guys came from and this is very very useful so say for example we entered in the cave here and this is the same spot we want to leave the cave you can go ahead and throw a torch down uh somewhere close by where you guys enter the cave and so when you guys start exploring the cave and you guys might get yourself lost you can keep dropping down torches so you can eventually find your way back to where you guys were originally so this makes it very easy very useful for you guys to somewhat make a path 
um so you can find and always guide your way back home and get out of the cave safely i know i get stuck and i get lost a lot in the caves i have to figure out where i was or maybe you guys end up dying in the cave and you guys have to find your inventory always find your way back home by dropping down these torches this next tip most likely will get patched pretty soon but might as well use it while you still can say you guys have weapons or tools and they're very 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 low what you can actually do is you can build a small chest um just like this and then you're gonna open the chest and you're gonna put those items into the chest here this is very very cheeky but you're gonna want to go ahead and then break the chest and then when you guys pick these guys back up you will notice that they are back now and they have full health very cheeky i got a feeling this is going to get patched very soon but as long as it's still here if you guys are struggling you guys can do it but i i'm not a fan it could be considered cheating but it's kind of up to you this is a useful tip too if you guys are trying to go ahead and build little crafting benches or whatever you guys are trying to do if you guys are trying to break your crafting bench with a axe you can see it has two damage a sword has like five damage and these are like good swords too but if you guys use your hands the hands will actually give you guys 15 damage and it's gonna break almost instantly a little sneaky tip too if you guys put these crafting benches close to like items like rocks or wood you can actually break these things and it'll break items around i have a whole video discussing this but this is what not root looks like you can only find this stuff in caves so if you guys find this in caves you're gonna notice if you guys try to use your hand it's not gonna work and give no damage trying to break it if you guys have a normal like green axe you guys will try to break it and it's not going to give you guys any damage as well. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to either have to ha go to your home base or go in a um, in the cave and create your own crafting bench. And, and you want to use the crafting bench. You guys can see the force axe, the un or the common force axe does not work. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to upgrade your bench to a uncommon. You're going to need planks as well as shells. Upgrade this thing. You guys will find, you guys will be able to make a uncommon axe. You're going to need bones as well as wooden rods. Once again, I have a full video tutorial talking about this. I'll link it below. Go ahead, craft your forced axe. You guys will equip it into your inventory here. And then you guys can start hitting this knot roots and eventually it will go ahead and break. And once it breaks, you guys will have the knot roots wood in your inventory, just like so. Eventually, then you're going to want to go ahead and back into the crafting area and you want to collect enough knot roots to go ahead and make knot root rods with bones to get the uncommon pickaxe. And then in the caves as well, too, a lot of people wonder where to get the marble this is where you guys get the marble so the marble once again is in the caves you can go ahead and build different platforms to get to it if it's kind of high up and hard for you guys to get to you can also do something cheeky like you can just jump on this thing build uh keep jumping and building this is kind of like a little a cheeky way to go ahead and keep getting to higher locations wherever you guys need to go to and then you can eventually go ahead and use your pickaxe to break down the marble. I have a whole video, once again, talking about this knot root stuff. Uh, it's very important you guys know how to get it, but I wanted to, I guess, show you guys how to do it again in this video just because of how important it is. And it's one of the first, like, I guess, like, shocking, like, all moments or, like, the wow, that's how you get it. Like, once you understand how this these tools work and how to get them, I think you guys are going to really enjoy the depth of this this lego fortnite game once again always break your stuff once you guys are done using it with your offhand so you guys can always recollect and use your materials for other things one thing too if you guys did not know if you guys go ahead and if you give them or give the animals uh either like wheat or vines it will actually attract sheep uh, as well as cows as well too and you can go ahead and use that so the sheep will actually eat the wheat or the vines and they have a higher chance of producing the fertilizer so obviously you guys know fertilizer can be used for creating more crops or planting more seeds so i highly recommend if you guys want to feed sheep 
and have them keep producing fertilizer go ahead and keep feeding them uh ingredients or vines or wheat so they will continue to drop fertilizer for you they also have a better opportunity to go ahead and drop more wool if you guys need more wool and wool is very useful for end game so make sure you guys keep of course getting wool and keep getting fertilizer it seems a little i mean easy to get right now but trust me Towards the end of the game, you guys are really going to appreciate the wool that these sheep uh, give for you. I hope you guys enjoyed those tips. There's a lot of stuff still in this game. A lot more tips that I'll be sharing with you guys. So make sure you guys do subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, of course. And let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite tip you guys learned? Or is there anything that I missed in this video that you guys would like to share? Let me know in the comment section. Also too, once again, if you guys have not already, make sure you guys hit the like button if you guys found anything to be useful. And uh, we'll catch you guys in another LEGO Fortnite video. Stay tuned. I have a lot more videos coming to you guys today, as well as tomorrow and the next day. So we'll catch you guys later. Take it easy, my friends. Peace out.